The Custom Crimp BE Series test benches are designed to test completed hydraulic hose and fitting assemblies to assure that they meet the quality and safety standards required for the product involved. They're available in three maximum pressure ranges and both manual and electronic control units are available in all three pressure ranges. The BE 1500 series will test hose assemblies up to 21,500 psi or 1500 bar. The BE 2500 series will test hose assemblies up to 37,500 psi or 2500 bar. And the BE 3500 series will test hose assemblies up to 50,000 psi or 3500 bar. While all of the units have safety and interlock features included, when working with pressures of this magnitude, safety precautions must be followed in order to avoid the possibility of operator injury. In this video, we will cover installation, operation, and maintenance instructions to make your use of the BE series test benches safe, profitable, and trouble free. All BE series test benches come from the factory pre assembled and ready to use. An adequate air supply, a city water connection, a water drain connection, and a 110 volt outlet are the only requirements for installation and operation of the BE series test benches. Connect a water supply to the benches shown with a standard garden hose. Connect a hose to the drain outlet and route it to a standard floor drain or equivalent. Connect an air supply to the air inlet. For satisfactory operation, a minimum of 80 psi at 28 SCFM specific cubic feet per minute is required. The water test pressure is generated by an air driven motor and an inadequate air supply will result in slow or unsatisfactory operation and the inability to generate the required test pressure. Plug the electrical cord into a standard 110 volt AC outlet and the BE series test bench is now ready to operate. Setup for the product being tested is identical for both the manual and the electronic test benches. The test manifold has six outlets. Each outlet requires a special high pressure coned adapter. Do not attempt to insert any other fitting in these outlets. Adapters are available to accept a 1 quarter, 3 eighths, 1 half and 3 quarter inch male NPT hose fitting. Remove the manifold plug from the manifold and replace it with the proper adapter for the hose and fitting being tested. Screw the hose being tested into the adapter. Note that multiple hose assemblies can be tested simultaneously. It is recommended that a high pressure bleed valve be connected to the free end of the hose in order that air can be purged from the hose assembly more easily. Once all of the hose assemblies being tested have been connected to the manifold, place the rubber safety mat over the hoses. After the rubber safety mat is in place, close the cabinet lid and make sure the lid is securely latched. The test bench is equipped with a safety interlock which prevents operation of the bench if the lid is not securely latched. Do not defeat this interlock as it is a critical safety feature of the bench. While both the manual and the electronic benches have the same test capacity, the operation of each bench is somewhat different. This section will cover the operation of the BE series test benches with manual controls. After the proper fittings and hoses have been installed and the cabinet lid closed and latched, turn the pressure regulator knob counterclockwise to be certain that the pressure regulator will be at zero when the system is started. Set the maximum pressure indicating pointers on the high pressure and low pressure gauges to zero. If the test pressure is going to be less than 4500 psi, the low pressure gauge can be used for greater accuracy. If the test is going to exceed 4500 psi, the low pressure gauge shutoff valve must be closed. To use the low pressure gauge, open the low pressure gauge shutoff valve. While a pressure relief valve is installed in the circuit to prevent damage to the low pressure gauge, do not build more than 4500 psi in the low pressure gauge. Open the water supply valve. Pressurize the system by pulling the air pressure supply valve out. Pushing the air pressure valve in at any time will relieve pressure in the system. 
Increase the system pressure by slowly turning the pressure regulator knob clockwise. As the pressure approaches the test pressure, turn the knob more slowly in order to avoid pressure spikes between the pump strokes. When the required pressure has been reached and held for the desired time, press the air pressure actuation knob in to relieve the pressure and bleed the system. The cabinet door should not be opened while the system is under pressure. Record the maximum pressure reading from the red indicator pointers on the high or low pressure gauges. The pointers must be returned to zero before a new test is performed. Lift the cabinet lid and remove the tested hose assemblies. This procedure can be followed for all BE series manual test benches. While the installation and setup of the product is identical for both the manual and the electronic test benches, the test procedures are significantly different. To start the electronic test procedures, press the Begin Test button on the touch panel screen. Press New Test to set up test parameters. The first requested parameter is the test pressure. Press the pressure button to open a keypad where the test pressure can be entered. Enter the required pressure and press Enter. This will return you to the test parameters screen. The arrows on either side of the screen allow you to scroll forward and backward in the test parameters setup procedure. Press the right arrow button to go to the dwell time screen. Enter the required dwell time in minutes and seconds. Enter the minimum pressure that is acceptable within the specified dwell time for an acceptable test result. Enter the number of times that the hose assembly is to be pressurized during the test procedure. The final setup screen allows you to review the test parameters which you have entered in order to be certain that they are correct. If the entries are satisfactory, move to the next screen which is a reminder to check your setup and be certain that the cabinet door is closed and latched. The next screen allows you to monitor the test progress and to make corrections in air pressure if needed. If the test completes satisfactorily, a hose passed check mark will appear. If the test fails, a hose failed insert will appear. The test results screen will summarize the test results and give the operator the option of printing the test results to the printer at the top of the cabinet. Press OK to return to the main menu. If you wish to repeat an identical test, press the Repeat Test button. The last button on the main menu is the Options button. This button allows you to change some of the parameters of the test bench operation. The first option is Password Protect. This allows you to enter a password if you do not wish to allow users to be able to change the basic operating parameters of the test bench. The second option is the Default Pressure Drop Limit. This option allows you to set the default pressure drop as a percentage of any test pressure entered. The Custom Label option allows the creation of a company name or test description which will appear on the printer tape. The second page of the option screen allows you to toggle between manual and automatic fill. The memory table can also be edited from this screen. When the order number information and hose fitting information options are enabled. The operator will be asked for an order number and hose description during the test process. These parameters will be shown on the tape which is printed with the hose test results. The edit memory table allows the operator to set up test parameters for tests which can be recalled and repeated at a later date. Select a location from 1 to 100 and press the edit button. Enter the test description and test parameters. Press the close button and select yes to save the test data to memory. The saved test data can now be loaded from the memory option of the main menu screen. The test can now be selected from the memory screen. Select the required test and press the load button. Return to the main menu screen and press new test. All of the test parameters should now appear on the test parameters screen. If you have questions or need technical assistance, please contact Custom Crimp and our customer service department will be happy to help you.
We thank you for choosing Custom Crimp. As with all Custom Crimp products, parts and service are readily available, and manuals for all Custom Crimp products can be downloaded from our website at www.customcrimp.com.